I am Pete Dillac and I paint oil on canvas. How I started into the art world was I, I was introduced, I traveled for a long time around the world, had no idea I was even an artist. And I was building trade show booths for a company that did art on the weekends and invited me to come along. Um, everybody would think that from what I paint, it would be a great story, but I was actually pretty shit. <laughs> and so they uh, gave me a couple of tips and because I had desire to create something, I found my way around painting what I do. Uh, yeah, I was always looking for my true self, like most of us do. Um, I know I got a big personality and, uh, and uh, wanted to portray that in my artwork and try and find myself. It was my second year that I realized my tropical work wasn't really touch and base. And I know tropical because I'm a surfer, but through the struggles of not being able to connect with anybody at this actual show, it really pushed me to delve deeper inside myself and bring out the voice that you see in front of you, which I had no idea myself. They actually say you've got to become naked in order to find yourself and not necessarily painted naked, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> definitely threw myself on the canvas. Conversation is where I find most of my inspiration is just the general day conversation. When I have people come into the shows uh, to see my work, we end up getting into deep conversations about life and what expressions they feel uh, have changed their, their personas or what they do in their life and we go back and forth. And unfortunately, I overthink everything. So I go home and I think a lot of uh, what's, what's gone through in the day, especially in a place like this, that our concentration with people is immense. And so I start making notes and every now and then I get a new piece from something like that because they might see something that I might not have noticed in my own self, but it was in them. And that's when I realized, you know, this isn't just about me. You know, we all have similar feelings that I'm able to portray a piece through. I was relying on a photo I'd taken years ago where I'd put a couch on a train track and it became really the telltale of most of my pieces where I realized that the furniture is a great juxtapo in all my pieces, uh, or the furnishings, should I say. And what I realized was it wasn't anything about the furniture, it was actually more about you, because I realized that the difference between the house and the home is you, you create the home. But the center of the home, I realized, was our comforts and security. That's what we build inside that home, and a lot of that is comes down to the furnishings. But it really isn't the furnishings, because you can always change that, and that's where I place it as an icon of your comforts and security. But then I also realized in that own conversation, the juxtapo of my piece is comfort kills most people's dreams. So you never really want to be comfortable. You want to stand on the edge and go for it if you want to go for something. Celebration is a lot of things. There's a lot of different artists here, but I know my section here is pretty dang crazy. <laughs> and you are welcome. Um, yeah, it, it, it gets pretty deep. We uh, mixed emotions with pieces like this. Um, I've had people cry, laugh, um, go in a direction they never thought they would go to in an art show. So it's been more about the people than the artwork. And as I said, the concentration of connection with people is, is amazing for myself. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to experience um, in my world from meeting so many people. <laughs>